So this is a node, and it is the fundamental building block of everything in DaVinci Resolve. So the way nodes work is they run from left to right. So if we look at this one here, let's say our green node is a rectangle. That's going to then pass its data on into the yellow node. That yellow node, let's say it's a transform node, it's going to move that upwards and then pass that data on into the blue node, which will output it. It's a bit like a flowchart on its side. And then on a node, you have the input marked by a triangle on the left and the output marked by a square on the right. Okay, so we're in DaVinci Resolve now, and we're going to make sure we've got our effects panel open on the left. Now, we're going to go to the effects section of the toolbox, and we're going to drag the fusion composition into the timeline. Once we've done that, we can then enter the fusion tab by clicking the little wand icon at the bottom. So this is the fusion tab, and I'm just going to show you a few quick areas so you know where to look. So at the top in the middle, we have the two viewer windows then at the bottom we have our node tree or our node editor and then on the right we have our inspector window which is a bit like the inspector window in the edit tab if we look down at the node editor we'll be able to see there's a grid now this area is movable so if we use the middle mouse button we can move around that area and then if we use control and scroll then we can zoom in and out of that area at the minute, all you'll see on the screen is the media out node, because a fusion composition doesn't have anything else to it. However, if we go into the edit tab, and we grab a random bit of footage and put it into our timeline as well, and we enter the fusion tab with that, here we now have two nodes instead of one. So on the left we have our media in node, which is our footage, and that is attached to our media out node on the right, which is our output to the viewer. And in between, we have a yellow line which connects the two and transfers the data from the media in to the media out. Now, when connecting two nodes, if I disconnect these, you'll see that we drag from the square on one of them to the triangle on the other, from the output to the input, and we can connect our nodes together.